So what's going on? You've been hearing about these ASTM standards for your test sieves, but you're not exactly sure what they are and how they affect you? Well, stick around and you'll find out everything you need to know. Hey, what's up? My name's Andrew Kotlar, and the question today is, what's an ASTM standard? And what does it mean for my test sieves? Well, if you work in the particle analysis industry, producing accurate and repeatable results are pivotal for your operation, right? But how can people truly know that your operation is trustworthy? That's where the ASTM standard comes in. And here at WS Tyler, we've spent the past 150 years constructing and perfecting high quality test sieves. We want to guide you so you know what to look for when creating a more ASTM compliant operation. So in this video, we'll go over what an ASTM standard is, why it's important to partner with an ASTM compliant manufacturer, how WS Tyler works to comply with ASTM standards, and how ASTM standards play a role in the production of sieve cloth. ASTM is an organization that is responsible for standardizing the way materials, products, services, and systems are developed. And when it comes to wire mesh production, WS Tyler complies with the ASTM E11 standard. The E11 standard was designed to oversee the test sieve manufacturing process. And specifically, it dictates the requirements for the mesh openings, wire diameter, uh, frame height, and diameter, and, and the way screening media is mounted. ASTM standards are put in place to ensure that the products you invest in perform as intended. In the case of the E11 standard, this means that your sieves will produce accurate and repeatable results. So working with a manufacturer that follows these standards will better your odds of complying with the ancillary ASTM standards that oversee how you test uh, various materials. This includes aggregates, metal powders, plastics, uh, and powdered pigments. WS Tyler has developed an operation that closely follows and complies with the ASTM E11 standard. To assure customers that their sieve is of the highest quality, we send a document of certification with each sieve. And in this documentation, you'll see the exact certification standard, the certification grade, serial number, sieve mesh count, mesh material, uh, sieve material, nominal mesh openings, and nominal wire diameter. When we get down to brass tacks, WS Tyler is a wire mesh and particle analysis company. As test sieve analysis is our bread and butter, it only makes sense that we focus on producing ASTM compliant sieve cloth to create quality test sieves. Now this means that we follow specific guidelines during the weaving process. This ensures that the mesh meets a certain firmness and threshold when in roll form and falls within an acceptable tolerance range. But the wire weaving process isn't always perfect. Uh, the slight flaws in the mesh are to be expected. Following ASTM E11 helps to ensure these flaws don't hinder the mesh's overall functionality and performance. That said, ASTM allows for roughly four flaws, often referred to as uh, blemishes per 100 feet. Here at WS Tyler, we like to say we don't sell mesh, we sell openings. We say this because we know accurate mesh is what leads to desirable results. This is why we take pride in offering several test sieve calibration services. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn even more about woven wire mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Andrew Kodlar, and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.